right, this arrangement is our sympathy arrangement. This would be what we would call a single casket saddle, which would be used for like a, a small casket or a half casket. And because of due to expense and corona, we're going to be using our Lomi design dish. All right, honey, you need to help me now. And basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to start greening this up. I find greening up is the best and quickest way to get an arrangement done. So what we're going to do, this is like our long, low, horizontal arrangement. And I have everything I need for the design is right here. And this would be like a centerpiece. We're going to have go off two inches like that. And then we're going to take what we do to one side. Remember, we're going to do to the other. I'm going to make sure you have two inches of in there. Exactly like that. Then we're going to add short pieces on the side. Remember, your horizontal arrangement is more uh, long and narrow. So you want to have the width is going to be narrow. Measure that. Save all the little pieces. You're going to use that to finish greening up. And basically what we're doing, it's like our round arrangement, is creating a snowflake. For these little small pieces here, these are going to be perfect for the corners. You want to make sure you've got one in each corner. Also, if your leaves are broken, don't use them. Thank you, honey. You can get down now. Yeah, I love, I love having a cat accomplice. Makes it interesting. So you put little tiny pieces like that on the corners. And I'm going to show you this very quickly. And then we're going to take a quick break. And I'll finish it up. But basically, here's the beginning of our snowflake. I'm going to add that, another layer above that. And then uh, another one with four in the corners. And then we'll be putting our flowers in. Okay, so as you can see, we've greened up our horizontal arrangement, a.k.a. our single casket saddle. This is what it looks like from the top. I'm only going to drip a little bit. You want the trick with your horizontal arrangements is you keep them low and you add the length to them. You want them long. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding the carnations and, and then also just baby's breath. This is very simple, very basic. The best thing I can tell you about the carnations is make sure you, if you cut, you don't want to cut right across the node. You cut below it or above it, and you still need to have two fingers deep. The other thing with the casket saddle, you don't want it too tall, just like your centerpiece. So it's not going to be any taller than six or seven inches. If you were making a full or triple casket saddle, you could make it just a little bit, maybe up to 10 to 12, but this one is a single. So I'm going to start out with my center flower like that, poke him in there, push him down just a tad, I think he looks good. The next thing I'm going to do, just like we're going to, we did our greening up, we're going to add to the sides. You want to have some that are long to add to the length, reinforce that length. Nice thing, once you get one done, remember the rule of thumb, what you do to one side, you do to the other. That's going to give you some symmetric balance. The side pieces, you want those really narrow, and they can actually go in between those two, like that. And again, I'm going to go opposite that one, in between the greenery. Like so. And then I'm going to add these at the corners, down low first, and then we will, no, I'm actually going to be shorter. You can put one on each corner. These can be short. Opposite corner. 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 Like so, in between the greens. You can see like that this gives you an idea of what we're doing. You've got some, you want to have some movement and room between each one. And once you've got left over, again, using odd numbers, 
I'm going to have him come like that to the side above that corner piece. This goes opposite it, like so. Oops. I'm going to just angle him a little bit differently. And these last two on the corner. Like so. Now unlike our regular floral recipes that have lime mass focal filler in the greens, this one is just a one type of flower. In a funeral you would use, you know, carnations are pretty popular, uh, but it could be a mixed arrangement. There we go. So those are kind of evenly balanced. And he looks too straight up and down, so. The other thing is, you know, the only one that should be straight up and down is the one in the center. There we go. And then now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our transition, which is the baby's breath. And I'm going to start poking a few in, and then we'll take a quick break, and I'll finish up with the greening. But just so you have an idea, you want little sprigs of this to transition between your carnations. Your carnations are what's important here. You don't want this to go above them. So having small pieces of baby's breath that you're poking in and out is better. And you want to have those deep seeded. That one can be like that because it's coming out and covering that stem. This would be perfect like between these two. And so you're going to start with small pieces and then gradually fill in. So we'll take a break from the video for a second and then I'll finish this part and then we'll complete the arrangement when I come back. Okay, so now I've added baby breath. I've added some lemon leaf tips and some eucalyptus. I'm trying to make sure that all of the areas have all the oasis is disguised. All right, thank you honey for helping. And as you can see, this is a horizontal low arrangement and the only difference between this and your dining room table would be if you're doing a funeral it would go in a single casket holder and you wouldn't want it much taller than this but it could be a little longer and add more flowers but that you learn this you can do anything this is probably one of the most versatile arrangements you can make because you can use it for mantel pieces arbor pieces funerals and weddings, it's just very versatile. So enjoy making this arrangement. Thanks.